Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Good evening. Hello. How are you, my dear students? Fine. Welcome to another day, another class. Thank you. A very unusual one, because I would say like, it's Friday and we are in class. <laughs> it is the only opportunity that I have to say this. Okay, so it is a big pleasure for me to see you once again. And for sure, to have you here in class with me. It is a great pleasure for me to have another class together. Well, today we are going to finish working with simple present. We're going to work a little bit in prepositions of time and daily routines and schedules. Those are the topics that we are going to be working on today. So I am very happy to start. Welcome Marlon, welcome Veronica. Welcome, Elmer. Let me see. Welcome, Ana Beatriz. Welcome, Abdiel, Moises, Doris. Hello. And I know all your other classmates are going to join in a second because we are missing one minute for eight. Good evening. Hi, good evening. So tell me, how was your day? Was it good, bad, so, so? How was it? Good. Good. A lot of work. Good Friday. A lot of traffic too. There was a lot of traffic. My God, I said like, I thought that I was never going to go to my house <laughs> because there was a lot of traffic. Hello, Jaritza. Welcome. Okay, so I am going to start here sharing a little bit of the class just to uh, to make some catch-ups about things, right? Remember to practice your English as much as possible, to ask for help whenever you need, to keep your cameras on all the time, to keep your microphones off if you are not using them, to attend all your sessions on time, right? Thank you for being on time. Participate as much as possible. Keep a cooperative attitude during class and for sure, collaborate with your friends on the WhatsApp group. It is always necessary, and maybe this is something that I need to share, that whenever we receive a message from Inglés Corporativo, it is a good thing that I know in some cases we are in, in a hurry, right? And we are just like running and everything, and we just see the messages. But it is always good to say something like, thank you for the information or um, got it. So in that way, we know that you got the messages, okay? So it is important that you answer the messages on the WhatsApp group. And if you are not in the WhatsApp group, the link is on the email that you received, okay? Así que siempre que recibamos un correo, ya sea de, de los compañeros, eh, si es un momento importante o de los facilitadores, o de Elena, de Inglés Corporativo, creo que es muy bueno que siempre contestemos, aunque sea entendido, un like. ¿Por qué? Para que nosotros sepamos que todos eh, obtuvieron el mensaje. ¿Okay? A veces en la carrera solo chum, lo vi, le damos swipe up y lo, lo quitamos de la pantalla, pero es, es muy importante que siempre, aunque sea un, un, un like, aunque sea un gracias, entendido. For, for us to know that you got the, the messages, ¿ok? So that is just a little a recommendation that I can give you. So you can um, keep the WhatsApp group for the purpose that it is. Well, yesterday we were talking about a simple present in the different forms, the different verb formation, right? What do you remember specifically from yesterday? ¿Qué recuerdan de la clase de ayer? Algo que ustedes recuerden específico que hicimos ayer. Uh -huh. um, a simple present. Yes, simple present. Very good. What else? Do and do 
and does. Do and uh, does, right? Do, do and, and does. does. Good. Um, doesn't. And doesn't. Good. Don't and doesn't for the negatives. Do and does for the questions. And for sure, the rules for the third person singular for simple present. Thank you very much, Abdiel. Okay. So the last activity that we did yesterday, you had poor Roberto there all stressed out because he was doing an exercise with all of you, right? He was doing the teamwork time with everybody. And you were like, no, this, that, that, that. You know, it was ecstasy and, yeah, and adrenaline and all that. Right? And poor Roberto was trying to, to, to answer the questions. So just for us to catch up uh, a little bit on what we did yesterday here. So we're going to go over the exercise, okay? But uh, before we start here, let me see. How many students do I have? I have 14 students now. Very good job. Thank you for connecting on time. Uh, remember, you can send a message there in the group. Hey, friends, we are waiting for you. Okay, so they can connect. Here, we were checking this yesterday, right? And what was the answer that you were choosing for the second exercise? He has. He has, good. You? Walk. Walk, good, very good. What about the next one? I? Don't. don't. I don't, right? I think that you remember, very good. I? Take. I take, very good. I? Walk. walk. I walk, very good. What about the next one? This is the one that we were going to do today. So? here what do we have what about you well my husband and i i have my husband and have. i have right because you have my husband and i two people right plural a house in the suburbs now uh, in the suburbs now so i drive drive very good let me just find the mouse here okay where are you what are you here you are Okay, so I drive, right? We're going to keep it here. <laughs> I am having difficulties with the mouse. Just give me one second. I drive, good. My husband doesn't work. Aha, uh -huh. because you have doesn't and you have the auxiliary. So after the auxiliary, you use a normal verb. He works. He works. works in the suburbs near our house. So he goes, goes, goes right, goes. goes to work by bus. Excellent. So let's work on this short conversation that we have here between Sue and David. I need one volunteer to help me tonight. Who wants to help me? Anybody, a boy or a girl, you say me, teacher, and open your microphone. Only one. Okay, no puedo escoger entre tantos. Only one. <laughs> okay, thank you, Abdiel. Thank you. Thank you Excellent. I am going to be Sue, and you are going to be David. Okay. Um. So, do you live downtown, Abdiel? Yes, I live with my brothers. Uh -huh. he, ha he has an apartment near here. Oh, so you walk to work. Actually, I don't walk to work in the morning. I take the bus to work. And, and then I walk home at night. The question. What about what about you? Well, my husband and I have a house in the suburbs, so I drive to work. My husband doesn't work downtown. He works in the suburbs near our house. So he goes to work by bus. Thank you, Abdiel. Thank you very much for your help. Very good. Now I need another volunteer who wants to help me. Dun, 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 dun. 
three, two, one. Ah, Jairo. Okay, you saved the day. Thank you, Jairo. Okay, Jairo. I am going to be David this time. So you are going to be uh, the part of Sue. Go ahead. I'm Sue? Yes. I am going to be David this time. Okay. So, do you live downtown, David? Yes, I live with my brother. He has an apartment near here. Oh, see you all to work. Actually, I don't walk to work in the morning. I take the bus to work and then I walk home at night. What about you? Well, my husband and I have a house in the in the suburb and in the suburbs, and now so uh, I drive. I drive to work. My husband doesn't work downtown. Um, he works in the suburbs near our house. Uh, see how go, uh, goes uh, to work by bus. Very good job. Excellent. Thank you, Jairo. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay, so uh, in the pronunciation of things, we have suburbs, suburbs, right? And downtown. I was making a joke yesterday that you have to move your mouth to pronounce that word, downtown. And the other one is apartment, right? Apartment. And I think just this one. Thank you very much to my volunteers for the help. Now, I have here a little exercise that I wanted to share with you. And this is for all of you. And in this case, what we are going to do is that you are going to tell me yes or no to the questions that I am going to make. Are you ready? All of you at the same time. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter uh, the noise, okay? But all of you are going to answer at the same time. Okay, first question. Students, do you live in the city? Yeah. You say, yes, I do or no, I don't? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Good, everybody, everybody has to answer. Students, do you live in the city? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Students, do you have a car? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Very good. Hey, students, do you live in an apartment? No, I no, don't. I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I don't. Hey, students, do you live with your parents? No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Yes, I do. Hey, students, do you do your homework at the school? Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I, I do. do. Yes, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Do you go to school, people? No. no. <laughs> yes, I am. So, well, who, who goes to the university? Uh -huh. I study in the university. I, you study at the university, is it? Uh, I am finished university. Okay, you finish, right? And we are not a school, right? We do your home, you do your homework in your house, right? The ones that I assign. That's very nice. Do you do your homework alone or someone helps you? You can tell me alone or with someone? Alone. Alone, alone teacher, alone. No alone. one helps me. Google helps me. <laughs> Do you have brothers or sisters? Yes, I do. Yes, I have sisters. Sister. Yes, I have sisters. Yes, I have. Okay. Do you work downtown in the center of San Salvador? Or in the center of Soyapango or in the center of the city where, where you live? San Salvador? It can be, if, for example, if you live in Soyapango, you work in the main area of Soyapango. If you live in San Salvador, you work in the main area of San Salvador and, and on and on. Apopa, for example, in the main area of Apopa. That will be downtown in that case. So do you work downtown? Yes, I do, or no, I don't. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, I so do. now, I ask you a lot of questions, right? So now, 
it's the moment for you to ask me questions. Any type of questions that you want to ask me. With do, for sure, you, the verb, and the complement. Yesterday, some students were asking me questions like, for example, teacher, do you like to swim? Teacher, do you like to dance? Teacher, do you like to cook? Things like those. So I need you to create questions to ask me, okay? So you just move your hand in the camera or open the microphone and ask a question. And I am going to answer. Go ahead. Teacher, do you like reggaeton? Uh, I don't have to say no because everybody in this room, everybody likes at least one reggaeton song. Uh -huh. You cannot say, Ush, I don't like reggaeton. Ush, X. Yeah, you see? <laughs> okay. Because if you are in the coaster, for example, if you are on the bus, on the micro bus, if you are in your car, and then a reggaeton viejito song comes out, then you start like, uh -huh. so I, I will have school. to say like, yeah, old school reggaeton. So I have the to say like Bunny. some of them, but no dirty reggaeton, like Bad Bunny and all that. So no, the old classics maybe. Thank you for the question. Another question. Do you have that kids? I have one, one four-year-old kid. Hmm. Well, I have an, a dog that looks like a kid too. <laughs> so I have one. Thank you. Another question. Do you like a beer? Beers or birds? Or birds? No. The beers. drinks? Yes. Depending. If they are well prepared, yes. Along and just like that, no. <laughs> so if they are well prepared, yes. But just like that, no. Right here you have a cholotona, no. <laughs> it's the eye, ah, you see? It's like, oh my God, the teacher, no. Yeah, depending, right? So well prepared. Ya me expuso. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so Vanessa likes the cholotona, right? There you go. Another question. Aha. Uh -huh. It is the moment. Go ahead. Teacher, do you like to, your students? I love my students. You are a very good group because when you, uh, for example, as a teacher, when you get a basic group, you imagine that everything is going to be like La vaca dale. Che. Okay, good. This is color blue. No, and you are very good. You are very interactive and I can give the class and everything. And I hope that you understand and that you enjoy the class. So I love my students. Thank you, Gustavo. Another question. Ah. It's like, what should I ask? What should I ask? Uh huh. Teacher, do you like a dancing? I love dancing. I dance all the time. Here, when I am cooking, when I am cleaning, I love dancing. Yeah, along with the dog, I do it. Teacher. Yes. What's what sport do you like? I like billiards. Yeah, it's a very curious sport for a lady, but I like it. And I like basketball, right? You know what billiards are? Billar? Do you, do you practice uh, some sport? I practice basketball and billiards, the two of them. A little bit because before COVID, it was easier. But now with COVID, it's like, ew, okay, everything is right. Ooh, touching people, ew. Yeah. <laughs> Very good question. Thank you, Elmer. Another question? If not, I am going to start with the questions and I ask <laughs> very specific things. Uh -huh. What color do you like, teacher? Ah, well, I am kind of a rainbow person. I really like uh, all the colors, but uh, my favorite is black and pink. 
And I am not emo, okay? Don't think anything like that. There's a like, oh, yeah, pink and black like emo. No, right? No, I love pink, I love pink and I love uh, black. That's cool. Those are my favorite. Uh huh. One well, more. Sure. Yes. Do you like cats? I love animals in general. The only animal that I don't like is the scorpion. In general, I love cats, dogs, parakeets, everything. I am the type of lady that is going to be on the street. Uh, they're hugging an aguacatero dog. <laughs> I love animals. Yeah, and my husband says like, niña te va a morder el chucho. And I'm like, <laughs> touching the animals on the street. Yeah, I love animals. You know, my first dream was to become a veterinarian. But then I couldn't. So it, it is still there, pendant. One day I am going to be a veterinarian. Thank you for your question, Ana Beatriz. Okay, now I am going to ask you questions. Hmm, Mr. Avdiel Martinez. Chan, chan, chan. <laughs> do you like pupusas? Yes, I do. What are your favorite? Um, Loroco and beans and cheese. Excellent, very good job. Let me see. Uh, Isaias. <laughs> do you have pets? Yes, I um, dog and cat. Okay, a dog and a cat. Very good job. Let's see, Vanessa Guadalupe. Do you have a boyfriend? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and everybody's like, I have my husband. Okay, that's the answer. Very good job. Yeah, no, no boyfriend, just husband. Right now, you see. <laughs> Entra también como boyfriend. Okay, no yeah. <laughs> yeah, the problem is the husband and the boyfriend. Right? That's a problem. No no, 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 no. Only husband forever. All the ladies are the same, okay? Así yes. somos las mujeres. <laughs> yeah. And all the boys like... Mm. <laughs> Mr. Elmer. Do you like salsa music? Yes, I do. My okay. favorite music is it's salsa. Hey, you see, I, I saw you, Gilberto Santa Rosa, look. Ah, very good. Let me see. Mr. Mauricio Isaú, do you like your students? Hey, the microphone. Ah, the secret of eternal life, you see. The kids are never going to know. We cannot listen to you, honey. No. Ah, so you say. Y las palabras tan lindas que les estaba dedicando a los niños. <laughs> but you say yes or no? Oh, yes. That's a total yes. Good. Let me see. Doris Asensio. Do you like to cook? Yes, I do. Excellent. Let me see. Uh, Adriana Galdames. Do you like to wash the dishes? Mm. <laughs> no one likes to wash the dishes. <laughs> Be honest. Uh, mm, yes, I do. Yes, I do, right? Everybody likes to wash the dishes, but not in his or her house. Yeah. <laughs> Todo, a todos lavamos platos, pero no en la casa. I, I don't know, I don't know, Rick. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. It looks <laughs> fake. Yeah, so you see, good, very good. You survived to the questions and answers thing. Very good. Everybody was like, Ay, no, que no me pregunte a mí, por favor. <laughs> I saw your faces. Okay, let's continue here. Here on the, okay, someone is making carne asada here near my house because all the block smells like carne asa. Okay, here. I need you please to check on uh, this image. And we are going to analyze the sentences, right? Each of the sentence has a mistake. All the sentences have a mistake. And I need you to tell me what is the mistake of the sentence. Analyze each of them, okay? Analyze each sentence. 
And I am going to be asking one by one. I mean, I am going to go over each sentence and you are going to tell me what the mistake on the sentence is, okay? So for example, here, the first sentence says, do he like basketball? What would be the problem? The auxiliary verb is thus. Exactly, right? The auxiliary verb is thus because you are talking about he, right? So in this case, we need to change it for thus. Very good. What about the next one? I likes eating pizza. I like. I like. I like. Why? For you have to give me a reason. First person. It's first person. Very good job, right? I mean, you have to give me a reason because it's like, uh, because of yes, teacher. No, you have to give me a reason. She do her homework on the service bus. She does. Uh, she does. Exactly. Why? Yes. Third. It's third person, right? Third, third, third person. person. Good. What about this one? The film finishes at night, at eight, sorry. Finish. Finish. Uh, the problem finish. is finish. It's finish. What, what do I need to change? Finish. Finish. Exactly. What is the problem? Because you finish in SH. So it has to go. Finish. E S. Good. My friend goes. My friends goes on holiday next week. Go. Go. Why? It's second person. It's plural, right? My friends. Good. The next one. She carries her little sister to the car in the morning. Case, uh, why, why change to ESA? To I E S, right? She carries her little sister to her car in the morning. Nicole Kidman acts in a lot of films. Acts. Right, because it is third person. What yeah. about the next one? We place in the garden at break. We play. We play. Uh huh. Why? Why do we make that change? Plural. Because it's plural, right? Very good. It's plural. And the next one. Our teacher talk very clearly. Talks. Talks, right? Because you're talking about your teacher and your teacher is she. It's a lady. Say so our teacher talks very clearly. Do you know what's the meaning of clearly? What is the meaning of clearly? No idea? Claramente. Claramente, right? Because this is what gives you the idea, right? When you say clearly, right? Mente. If I say, for example, beautifully, what is the meaning? Beautifully. If it's if clearly is claramente, beautifully will be hermosamente. Hermosamente, right? Or bellamente. If I say easily. Facilmente. Facilmente. What about this one? Dangerously. Peligrosamente. Right? So that's the idea of the yes, others man. ending in L-Y. That's a secret that I am going to share with you today. Okay? No le cuenten cuando les toque ver los adverbios en otro nivel. No les cuenten quién les contó. <laughs> You say, ah, that's easily, beautifully. And then it's going to be nice for you. Nice yeah. and easy. Yes? Uh, in the number two, uh -huh. eating correct. Which one? I like eating pizza. Yes? 
I like eating pizza because in this case it's simple present, but you can say I like eating pizza or I like to eat pizza. Okay. Right? Yes. Yeah. When you say like I like eating pizza, it's like ah, me gusta comer pizza, right? In general, right? The action of eating pizza, it's what you like. When you say like I like to eat pizza. Me gusta comer pizza, and it's the same, but it's a little bit more general. O but sea, the cuando, two of them are possible. Cuando hay dos verbos en una oración, uno de los dos tiene que ir modificado, digamos. Mm, not really, but one, in this case, the auxiliary verb here, it's uh, when you say, I like eating pizza. Like is the main verb, okay? Eating will be like the action verb, right? But the main verb here is, I like. But it's very common that the other one is an infinitive or that the other one is an ing form, right? For you to balance the sentences. And it happens in very specific cases like this one, okay? Puede ser que el siguiente sea un infinitivo o el siguiente sea un verbo progresivo para que vayan juntos. En el caso, oh, uh -huh. Go ahead. si cambiara la persona y fuera he. So you say, just he, he, Likes. No, no cambiamos. Ningún, no. no, cambiamos el, el verbo principal uh -huh. del que estamos hablando. Okay. He likes eating pizza. Because eating pizza will be like the phrase. Okay? Es como la frase, la acción de comer pizza es la que me gusta. Okay? So that's the idea of this one. Okay, very good job, kids. Transforming kids. <laughs> well, yeah, we always have an internal kid inside. Okay? Como maestra siempre lo veo como niños chiquitos. Que siempre están aprendiendo. Okay, good. So we're going to go here in prepositions of time, right? This is the next topic that it's going to complement the simple present. The prepositions of time, uh, we have at, in, on as the main prepositions that we're going to study, at, in, and on. And I have some examples of time expressions because it is not the same. At, in and on are prepositions, and these are time expressions. So these are expresiones de tiempo, but the other ones are prepositions of time, okay? How do you use them? For example, the time expressions you have, can you help me to read them? Can you help me to read them? Early. Early, uh-huh. Late. Uh-huh. Every day. Good. At nine. At nine. At noon. Uh -huh. Midnight. At nine. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the evening. On Sundays. On weekends. On weekdays. On weekdays. Very good. Thank you very much to my volunteer for the help. Say the time expressions are early, right? In the morning, early, late every day, at nine, at noon, at midnight, at night, in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, on Sundays, on, week, on weekends, on weekdays. What can you spot on the time, on the time expressions? What is something that you can actually uh, spot there? Like, hey, they are using at, in, and on. Why? Because, for example, with the time, you cannot tell me in 9 p.m., okay? In no puede utilizarse con las horas. Con las horas vamos a utilizar at. 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 For example, when you say at noon, you cannot say, hey, I go for lunch on noon. No, right, that's not okay. In noon, right? En, en mediodía, right? You cannot do it. It's like at noon, that it's al mediodía. At midnight, a la medianoche. Okay, and for the, the expressions of the time, the moments of the day, you say at night, right? At night. You don't say, uh, you can say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, but at night is specifically like that. And 
on, you use it with the, the days of the week, with weekends and weekdays, right? You cannot say, I am going to go and visit my mother in Sunday. It's on, on Sunday, right? On December. And I here have on weekends and on weekdays. And I have some other examples right here. I am going to go over the examples and then we are going to go to the conversations. At, at expresses a precise time, right? Here we have a very precise time. That's what it expresses. The next one that we have here, it says in, do you use it with months, years, decades, centuries, and seasons, right? So you say in September, you say in October, in 2002, in the 19th, in the, two, uh, the 20th century, in summer, in winter, right? In autumn, where you use it for the seasons. And on is specifically for the days and the dates. On Sunday, on Tuesday, on the 6th of March, on the 25th December, on Christmas Day, on Independence Day, on my birthday, on New Year's Eve, right? You have days and dates, días y fechas, okay? In, para meses, años, décadas, eh, send, how, how do you call this in Spanish? My God, centuries. Yeah, I forgot the word in Spanish. Siglo. Siglo, centenario. My God, do you see? That's it, that's the benefit of English, but you forget Spanish. Ush, come on. Very como los que van a, 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 a de viaje como un mes. Ah, como se dice eso en español? I don't remember. <laughs> Centuries. Seasons. Seasons son las eh, estaciones, right? And at is for a precise time. At three o'clock, at 10.30, at noon, at dinner time, at sunrise, at sunset. What is the meaning of sunrise? When the sun rises. Amanecer. Amanecer. Sun rise. And the other one, sun set. Atardecer. Atardecer. It's like, ah, teacher. Sun rise. Sun set. It's very easy to remember. And it's like, oh, come on. So sunrise, what is your favorite to see at the beach? The sunrise or the, or the sunset? Sunrise. Sunset. The sunset. sunset. I like the two of them. Two. If it is at the beach, the sunset, the noon, everything. I, I love to see everything. If yes. it is at the beach, everything. Sunrise and sunset. But the best, I think, I really like the, the sunrise. Sunset. And the sunset is very romantic. Ah, at El Tunco, right? Looking, the sun setting behind the Tunco. The Tunco uh, grave there. Ah. Tunco time. <laughs> tunco time. <laughs> yeah, because it's Friday, right? Tunco time, you say. No, I work tomorrow, so. No Tunco time. <laughs> okay, good. So is it clear the different uses? When you use at, when you use in, and when do you use on? Yes? Si todavía nos queda duda, it's okay. Question me. I try to clarify every single thing for you to have it as clear as possible. No questions in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, everything is clear. Let's go over the conversation for us to practice the prepositions of time. And it says, let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They save breakfast all day. <laughs> they will go to Denny's maybe. 
So repeat after me. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Let's go to the, park, go to on the park on Sunday. Sunday. Okay. 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 But let's go in the afternoon. But but let's go, let's go, go in the, the afternoon. afternoon. I sleep late on weekends. I, I sleep, sleep late, late, late on the weekends. weekends. What time do you get up on Sundays? What, what time, time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. At, At 10, 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Oh, oh that's, that's early. early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. On Sundays, I get up at noon. Up noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Do you, you eat, eat breakfast, breakfast then? then? Sure. 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 I have breakfast every day. I, I have, have breakfast, breakfast every, every day. day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. Yeah. They serve breakfast all day. They, they serve, serve breakfast, breakfast all, day. all day. Okay, very good. Two volunteers for the conversation. Go ahead. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Two volunteers. Isaías and the other volunteer. Thank you, Vanessa. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> Isaiah and Vanessa, go ahead. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sunday, I get up at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure. I have breakfast every day. Then let me at this restaurant at one o'clock. They service breakfast all day. Very good job. Thank you, Vanessa, and thank you, Isaías. Now, Isaías, choose one person, and Vanessa, choose one person. Escoge a una persona. And Isaías, you choose one person. Okay. Doris Asensio. Doris Asensio and who else, Isaías? Gustavo. And Gustavo, go ahead. One, two, three, Doris and Gustavo, action. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late on the weekend. What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. On Sundays, I get up at noon. <laughs> do you eat breakfast then? Sure, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this, at this restaurant. At one o'clock, they are breakfast all day. They serve breakfast all day. Very good job. Thank you. The next couple, who is it going to be? Doris, choose another person, and Gustavo, choose another person. Uh -huh. Adriana. Uh, Adriana and... Carlos Ernesto. Okay, now I am going to show you the wheel, right? I have a wheel right here. A wheel, it's spinning. And on the wheel, I have different feelings. <laughs> Do you know what's the meaning of feelings? Sentimientos. So here we have Adriana and who is the next one? And me, teacher. Adriana and Carlos. Okay, le vamos a poner sentimiento a esta conversación. And the feeling is going to be chin, chin, chin. angry. <laughs> you are going to be angry. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so you are not happy. You are very angry. So go ahead. Start conversation. <laughs> Let's go to the park on Sundays. <laughs> but very angry. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's go. <laughs> go, 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 Carlitos, go. 
<laughs> you are angry. Man. Let's go to the okay. park on Sundays. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon. Are you sleep late or weekend? What time do you get up on Sundays? At 10 o'clock. Oh, that's early. Yeah, on Sundays, I get up at noon. Do you have breakfast times? Sure, I have a breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the, this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all days. Thank you very much for your conversation. Ish. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Now, Adriana, choose another person and Carlos chooses another person. And we are going to have another feeling. <laughs> it's like, okay. Uh -huh. Choose another person. Okay, Abdiel. Abdiel and Adriana, choose another person. Um, quiero ver, espérame, quiero ver. ¿Quién tiene cara así como que quiere participar? Everybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ana. Ana Beatriz. Yes. Okay, Abdiel and Ana Beatriz. Let's see the feeling that you are going to have. Crying. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why me? Crying. Action. Go ahead. Go. Jack. Action. Jack. Come yeah. On. Okay. Let's <laughs> let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. But let's go in the afternoon. I sleep late all week. Oh, okay. It's so sad. What time do you get up Sundays? Oh, at 10 o'clock. <laughs> oh, that's usually on Sunday. I get up at noon. <laughs> <laughs> Do you eat breakfast there? No, I have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at the restaurant <laughs> at nine o'clock. They're serving breakfast all day. Thank you very much. <laughs> and she and she cries. I might you have a place in Televisa. <laughs> very good job. Now the last couple. Who is going to be the last one? I have the last feeling. Go ahead. Who is going to be the last couple? Chan, 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 chan. Uh -huh. Who's going to be the last one? Abdiel and Ana, choose the next ones. Veamos. Yolanda. Yolanda and. Moises Diaz. Yolanda and Moises Diaz. Chan. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. It's moving, it's moving, it's moving. Oh my God, oh my God. Let's see. It's going to be, oh my God, I stop it. Ah, all the, the, the feelings there. Oh my God, oh my God. Let's go to the <laughs> Wait, <Thank you. laughs> in love. <sighs> Baby, Hi. let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay. <laughs> you are in love, okay? You are in okay. love. Okay, uno cuando está enamorado, ay, no, le pone colochos a todo, a todo. So, in love, action, one, two, and go. Let's go to the park on Sunday. Okay, but let's go in the afternoon 
I sleep late on weekend. What time do you do get out on Sunday? At 10 o'clock. Oh, oh, that's early. On Sunday and get out at noon. Do you eat breakfast then? Sure, and have breakfast every day. Then let's meet at this restaurant at one o'clock. They serve breakfast all day. <sighs> My dear students. On salt, on salt and bread. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was like a lot of sugar there in the air. I was like, hi, hey, hey, baby, let's go to the park on Sunday. Ah, my dear, okay. But let's go in the afternoon because I <laughs> sleep a lot. <laughs> okay, thank you. <laughs> very good, very good. Ya desde ahí, déjela, niña, muy tarde se levanta. At 10 o'clock. What time, what time do you get up on Sundays? Do you get up on Sundays? <laughs> what time do you get up on Sundays? At I get 7 at 8 o'clock. At 10 o'clock. At 10, at 8. <laughs> on Monday, you see. <laughs> yeah, at 7 because you go to church, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, a, a las 7, ya en la misa. <laughs> for sure. So let's continue. Thank you very much to all the volunteers. Thank you very much. All the volunteers and the democratic volunteers that they did an amazing job in the conversations. Hey, do you have a very good places there in Mexico for acting? She even got real tears. Okay, so all the examples of how do you use at, in, and on are these ones. For example, here, you have, I have a meeting at nine. They sh the shop closes at midnight. Jane went home at lunchtime. In England, it often snows in December. Do you think we will go to Jupiter in the future, right? Specific time in the future. There should be a lot of progress in the next century, right? Do you work on Mondays? Her birthday is on the 20th November. And where will you be on New Year's Day? Where are you going to be for Christmas? In Santa Ana, in Sonsonate, in San Salvador, in the United States. Where are you going to be on Christmas? In my house, you say. On December. Where? On December. Uh -huh, no, but where are you going to be? Um, where are you going to be? In your mother's in house? house? In your house? In my house. Your yeah. house. In the house. Yeah, because of COVID, there is pandemic. You don't have to in make parties work. or anything. <laughs> and the work. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, I didn't remember. Yeah, tenemos clase el día de Navidad, okay? No se les olvide. <laughs> it's like, what, teach? <laughs> Here we are going to have the cena navideña in classes. Don't worry, vamos a partir el chumpe aquí, virtual. Good. We're going to have just a little practice here with the prepositions of time. For these ones, I am going to make the little groups and you are going to work together, right? You are going to work in couples, right? You are going to work in couples and you are going to complete the exercise. So please, let's get the information. Just, we are going to do it in a very, very, very quick way, okay? Do you have the information? I am going to send you to the groups right now. It is very short and it is easy to complete. So it is not going to be very, very complicated. I am going to make small groups and we're going to complete the exercise, okay? Ready? Yes, teacher, Ready. no teacher? Yes, ready. Okay, let's do it. Three minutes, starting right now. Go ahead.
Excellent. So accept the invitation to go to the groups. There you go. Groups, groups, groups. Okay, very good. There you go. Thank you. I am just missing Mauricio to enter to the room. Mauricio, thank you very much. Okay, so all the students are set in the different groups. I am going to go and share with each of them. I am going to take the picture here of the screen and I am going to send it in the chat. Okay, so let's go to the mini groups. We're going to enter to the first one. Okay, yes, I do. I go to build at, I say at. Yeah. Uh, I Wait. go to weekdays. Ahí sería up, 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 mm -hmm. up, on, on. Yes, hello. Hello, teacher. Uh, no tomamos captura. Ah, okay, so here I am. Don't worry. Here I am. There you go. Okay, then. Do you have it? Comenzamos, sí. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Go ahead. Okay, if you have the picture, then I can uh, go to the other group, okay? Okay. Go ahead, continue, continue. Um. Hey, I came to the organized group, that's nice. Uh, on Mondays <laughs> and Wednesdays, sure. On Mondays and Wednesdays. What time do you get up at at the morning? At the morning, can you say that at the morning? In the morning. No. In the morning. In the morning. Excellent. Estamos probando. <laughs> no, that's good, huh? Estamos viendo si le estoy poniendo atención, right? Like in the class. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am going to go to the next group. Excellent work. Continue working. Go ahead. I'm going to go to the last one. Okay. De nada. Thank you. <laughs> Lo ven. Yes. Yes. Ya, ya. Sí. Okay. Bye. La primera, la primera es, do you go to... Do you go to bed? Eh, sería... In, ¿verdad? In life on weekends. In life on... Mm. Sí, va, no. Okay, the first one, as it has a mark, 
there you don't use anything. Do you go to bed late on weekends? Yes, I do. I go to bed. What do you use at, there? At, at 1 a.m. But I go to bed early. On weekends. With on home. weekdays. Very good. Do you study? In the afternoon. Ah, very good. Continue like that. Nice right. to all the in, in the, the morning. morning. Study. Study. No, Stu right? Study. 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 Okay. Study. study. In the morning. In yeah. the morning. Huh? And in, in weekends. Do you say in, in, in weekends or on weekends? On weekends. Aha. Uh -huh. Good. Very good. And I am um, um, I study. study. In the oh. in the evening, in the evening, in the evening, evening. on Monday, on, on Monday and, and Wednesday. Very good. I am going to go to the last group. Okay, what? continue working. Okay. What time do? Oh. Ahí está la teacher. Teacher. Yes. Presente. Yes. Um, every day preposition uh, is correct in? Um, okay, I get up at eight every day. You don't need a preposition. Okay, as in the first examples, did you see that I have two that I marked them, that you don't need them? Si se fijaron en las dos primeras, en la, en la primera parte, hay dos que tienen un cerito así eh, okay. cruzado, que no se necesita. So in this case, this is one of the cases. It's like, I get up at eight every day. You don't say in every day, at every day, on every day. No. You don't use no. prepositions of time with every day. I get up at eight every day. Excellent. Just like that. Okay. We're going okay. to go back to the main room. Thank you. Let's go back. Hello, it's me. <laughs> we are back. Okay, good, 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 good. So let's just finish the exercise for you to go and enjoy the rest of your Friday, okay? Let's do this. If you give me an answer, you can go to bed, okay? El que me vaya dando una respuesta se puede ir a la cama. <laughs> you can go to sleep. Ah, okay. Do you go to bed late on weekends? Yes, I do. I go to bed at, at, at 1 a.m. But I go to bed early um, on well, weekdays. Do you study? Um, in the afternoon. No, I study? In the afternoon. In the afternoon. Uh-huh. To say, no, I study? In the morning. In the morning. On weekends. On weekends. And I study? On weekends. In the evening. In the evening. On Mondays and Wednesdays. On Mondays and Wednesdays. What time do you get up? In the morning. In the morning. On weekdays. 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 I get up at eight. At eight. At eight. In, in that one, you don't use anything. Before every day, you don't use a preposition, okay? Uh -huh. Antes de every day, no a preposition. No. Do you have English class? In the morning. In no, the morning. no, I have English at at 1 30 p.m. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. On, on Tuesday. On Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mondays, on, Wednesdays, on, and Fridays. Wednesdays and Fridays. Our class yes. is at, at at three. At three. At three. Excellent three. job, my dear students. Well, it is time for you to go and enjoy the rest of your Friday. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you for participating. Thank you for being on time. It is always a pleasure to serve you. So see you on Monday for the next class. Bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Bye, Bye Miss. Bye-bye. Have a beautiful night. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.